Valentine's Day, and if you'd like to get a head start on your shopping, we have some ideas for you this morning. Lifestyle expert Heather Collins here with a few ideas for Valentine's Day. Don't wait until the last minute. <laughs> That's right. Get yeah. these things ahead of time. I know. We're helping you do your to-do list two weeks in advance. So Good. There's plenty of time out there for you guys to figure it out. Last year, we spent, Americans spent $19.6 billion dollars really? on Valentine's Day. And it doesn't all just have to be a bunch it, of sweets, it right? It doesn't. And so Even what, though we like right, those too. Right, exactly. Um, but men spend most of their money on flowers, and women, we spend most of our money on Valentine's Day on candy. Okay. So, there you go. Well, give us some other ideas, right. so then. We you have can have some, a whole day right, full of treats. A full day of treats. Breakfast in bed, if that's not your cup of tea, Sam's number three diner over here on Leedsdale. They are making up red velvet pancakes. Ooh, that sounds nice. Drizzled with this gorgeous cream cheese spread and chocolate on top. I like uh, it. Yeah, it's really succulent and wonderful. And if a breakfast treat is something that you're looking for at home, a great um, Moxie Bread Company out of Louisville, they are cranking out some amazing artisanal breads up in Louisville. And they created oh. this panettone, which is usually served at Christmas, but they did a completely different twist. They're bringing panettone for Valentine's Day with Turkish apricots, sour cherries, and milk wow. chocolate. It's really Look at dream all that's in this. So here are cherries, you got the apricots, and yes. some chocolate here. That yes. looks and yummy. Then they did this little added bonus. It's a little love note right there. Oh, good so idea. Cute. And then okay. you can wash it down with this dairy free cashew sugar probiotic. And it's good. pink. And it's pink. So yes. it's perfect. It tastes great. Okay. Um, another drink that people usually have on Valentine's Day is usually the bubbles. Mm -hmm. People like to pair them with chocolate. Of course. What I've done is I've taken it a step further. Champagne really pops with cheese. So if you're trying to impress that date this year, get some fancy, get some cheese. fancy cheeses. Now, if you are looking for love, Qdoba might be the place to go this year. Really? Yes. So if you say, hey, honey, come on, let's go yeah. out to Qdoba for so Valentine's here's Day? here's the catch. They're okay. doing a buy one, get one free uh -huh. burrito. Okay. But you got to lock lips with whoever you come in with or whoever you're standing next so to. So prepare ahead of time. Exactly. You're going to lock lips Maybe first. Maybe don't take the boss there. <laughs> so it's a buy one, get one free exactly. on, Valentine's on Valentine's Day only. Day. Yep, on Valentine's okay. Day only. Super, some yeah. great ideas. Thank, Thank you. you. And you brought us some treats too, so Thank we can you. dig into some of this. Looks good, Tom. All right, we're ready as always. All right, people and places, Chris Parente, uh, most of the eight